Hello everyone and welcome back to Oak Hill. Now we've been very, very busy and I am so conscious that it is five o'clock in the evening on the third day of autumn and we are just about to do our soybeans. Uh, yeah, um, I did a couple of soybean contracts. The money's gone up. As you can see, we made uh, about 36,000 overnight from the biogas plant. Now, they were the silage bales that we took yesterday. I took the rest of the silage bales after I came off screen as well. And as you've seen from that little introduction, we've had a delivery and we've placed a little tank here. Now, this is the liquid tank, small liquid tank by Missy B. She kindly enough modified it so that I could fit digestate in it because I I got at the moment, well, at the time I checked, I think it was about 160,000 litres of digestate and it'll probably be a little bit more now to hand after everything that we dropped off the other day. So yeah, she was very kind to do that for me. This will hold 60,000 litres and it only costs £4,000 to place so we can use that for fertiliser. So what we're planning on doing today... We have to get the soybeans harvested, otherwise we're going to miss out. They'll be withered by tomorrow, um, and I'm getting withered, thinking about the time. So we better hop on over. Everything's ready to go in the field. Now, crop moisture has just turned off. I I turned cr crop moisture, moisture off in the menu because I got to about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and it was still on. It hadn't turned off all day. The temperature was about one degree up until a few hours ago. Uh, so, yeah, that's why we hadn't got our crops harvested uh, much earlier. And I think the last episode, I think I called the cornfield next, not the soybean one, the cornfield next to us. I think I called that field 18 and it's not. It was field 19. This is field 18. <laughs> so what we're going to do real quick is get these soybeans harvested. And we'll pop it into the silo. We'll also pick up the straw now. The milling machine has gone back. And so has that large Brantner trailer as well. It's all gone back. I didn't want to spend another, you know, couple of thousand pound overnight on leasing the machinery that we're not using, basically. So it went back. Now... I'll get this done real quick and I'll see you back when we are to fetch the baler which is back at the, the pig yard and then we'll move on to what we're going to do next. Okay, so this is the end of the field and we managed to fit it into one tank. That's pretty decent, 8,586 litres. So we'll just pop that into there. Now what we'll do is we'll take this back to the silo and we'll go and fetch the baler. 
and get this whole field build up. Everything's back at the pig yard now, um, bar a few bits and bobs that are left over at the other side. I was really hoping that the clover would be done. Again, clover troubles across both my Let's Plays on Ravensburg and here with Seasons. Yeah, they don't think the clover is ready. No. Uh, it's on its... <laughs> it's like first growth stage. I don't think it'll be ready till next year. 47, that won't be ready till next year. Pharmacop was right. That's going to take another year to be ready. So basically what we've got is we've got 46, 45, 18 and 19 that we need to turn around ready for next season. That's what we can do going into winter. Uh, other than that, I think we've we've actually got a few other fields that are ready to go as well. I wonder if we have any... The pigs will be desperate for sugar beet, so I'm just wondering if we have any sugar, sugar beet harv uh, harvesting. There's no harvesting. There's baling contracts, but there's no harvesting contracts. I wonder if I... Right, here we go. Refresh the contracts. Potatoes. Um... Well, there's a few sewing contracts that we can do ready for the winter crop. We'll look into that tomorrow. Hopefully the ground isn't frozen. Is that 9,500 for that field 90? It's got potatoes in it, though. I don't think I could bring myself to do it. <laughs> uh, right, actually, what we'll do is we'll take this back to the pig yard. And I'll meet you back there with the trailer to empty into the silo. Okay, so we've got the silo here and I put the cover on it because it does make quite a noise when it's on. So let's take that off. There we go. Now, the harvesting contracts, we already had 3,400 litres of soybean already in storage. So that should take us up to 11,900, just shy of 12k. Uh, we've got some other crop in the silos here. And I'm just wondering, but we're coming into winter, so it must be a good time to sell something. Tomorrow will be the day. Seven, we're looking about 710 for wheat and we want 660 for barley. So what have we got just now? Yeah, old oak grain. We can perhaps go sell some barley. That'll be quite a neat idea. Anyway, let's pop this back. And we need to go and fetch that baler because we can't leave that straw there overnight. Right home. So another quick time lapse of me doing this and we'll be made pro probably ready to, to rest. Okay, so we've only got a little bit of soybean straw left, so I'm thinking probably the smallest amount mm, the smallest amount I could do would be a thousand five hundred, but it's obviously not gonna let me now. Uh what if I just push those out? Oh ah! <laughs> Okay. Um Ah oh, there we go, I can change it now. I don't even think we'll make 1500 um, not off what's here, but anyway, it's worth a go. I forget that we're coming into winter now, so the days are going to be shorter, and it's quite annoying that it's half past five and it's almost dark. But that's, uh, we'll just have to deal with that, I suppose. 
Now we got, uh, how many bales did we make? I wasn't even really counting. Six bales and one was a cornstalks bale, so five. So what's that, 50,000 litres and whatever's in the baler, 1,000 litres? So again, we'll take this back to the yard. I just have the auto load, so we'll just get the auto load and we'll find out where the best place is to sell these bales. And I think, I was just thinking during that time lapse, something else that we need to really get done sharpish, I think, is to empty the fruit trees. I think the fruit trees are going to be pretty full. They might start falling off and we don't want to lose the crop because tomorrow they'll stop producing. For six months. Okay, so I think we're already in the operating position, so we should just be able to, without crashing, go past these. There really isn't that many. I could load them by hand and front loader, but... <laughs> this way is just a little bit quicker, seeing as we only have six to speak of. Right, so let's find out who is offering the best price for soybean straw. Let's go to the end. So we are 142 at the sawmill, and I think... I don't think that's the sawmill up here. I think that's the one next to the biogas yes it is the one that we've been to before so we'll head on over there and drop these bales into that sell point okay so let's make some money off these um, straw bales and then what we need to do is I totally forgot before the end of the day we will get the pigs I need to get the pigs I want to get them today because we've been in that yard now for a couple of months and we haven't invested in any and we can afford them they should be if i remember rightly the cheapest animals where are we pigs uh they're the cheapest today so we need to go and get them probably start with 10 or 15 because i think by this time next year we'll have a full pen <laughs> So if I press uh, L1 triangle, there we go. 13,694. That's really not that bad going. That'll go towards putting the pigs in our pen. I might as well go straight to the shop because we're going to need this trailer for popping the pallets on for the fruit trees. We can sort the fruit trees out before bedtime as well. We're all in this sort of mad rush to get to get things done. I think we'll we will definitely manage. Now, as long as the pigs have water and they have one type of food, they'll be absolutely fine over the winter. I think I might even have two types of food. Um where am I going? I want to go to the shop, don't I? Yes. I can't, I couldn't remember whether I went straight on or I cut through the yard, but yes, I cut through the yard. Yeah, as long as they have one type of feed they'll be absolutely fine but I think I'll, I've actually got I've got corn and I've got uh, soybean canola and sunflowers as well and that's all in the same category so they've got the choice um, we do need to sell uh, well make and sell some CCM as well there's just a whole list of things ready to do but yeah, we'll we'll do the CCM tomorrow because that'll be a good income over the winter. I'm really hoping that CCM is not at its lowest price over winter because there's so many things to keep your eye on for how much it's all worth. Okay, no, it's actually, it's worth the most in the spring. Uh, sorry, in the summer. Yeah, so we've got ages to make the CCM. As long as we keep the pigs ticking over, we'll use the other crop before we use the corn. So let's buy some pallet boxes and we need an animal trailer as well. I'll probably end up just getting... How many does that hold? Nine. Do I have any modded ones that will take more than that? Twelve in that one. But we don't necessarily need a massive... Okay, so that one takes eight pigs. Let's go for this one. Roll van, 64. Let's take it used because it's only 11 grand. It's probably going to be looking a mess. Uh, it's not that bad. It's only just to carry a few pigs. 
And it is ours. I don't know why, when I go in the shop and then it throws me over there for some reason. Every time. Now what we need is... Is it in pallets? That's the forage extension I need. Oh gosh, productions. Aha, that's it. It's the Global Company Productions Empty Pallet. Um, I don't know how much it holds, but... Shall we get three and see? We'll get three and see how many cherries we can get into there and we'll pop them into the, uh, the farm shop. I really hope that these uh, cherries are going to be worth it now. I think the outlay cost was about... How many trees did we get? Gosh, I can't remember. I think we probably got about seven or eight trees at £400 each. So I'm hoping that the cherries are going to be worth it. Let's put that on there. Oh, strap, strap. The strap goes straight through him, but that's fine. So we'll come back for that animal trainer in a second. I'm just very curious to see where the fruit trees are at. This yard's looking a little bit bare now as well. Okay. Yeah, see, the clover just hasn't shifted at all. That'll be next year now. Uh, oh, we're full. Okay, we are probably going to need more than the... Th the three pallets that I've got just here then. It depends how many they hold. It didn't really say in the shop, did it? Don't like that being too close to my face. Okay, so that's filling up. Let's do another one. Oh, well, cherries are going in. It's a little bit jerky, but, uh, <laughs> do you know, I think they're probably going to take a pallet each. That's okay. So let's just wait to see if this actually just fills up one pallet. If so, we need one, two, three, we need four more. That's it. I, it's 100%. So... Yep, the cherries are ready to go. We might as well take those to the farm shop just now then. I wonder if they sell straight away or whether they sell... I think they sell over a period of time. But that's alright. Oh, I didn't place that very well, did I? Is there a second one there? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so we'll, we'll come back. Um, i probably come back tomorrow. I'm hoping that they're not going to lose all of their fruit because I, I do want to sort the pigs out. That kind of was priority. That is now not priority. <laughs> Seems to have not been priority anymore. Uh, so, yeah, let's head to the farm shop, which is just down the road here, and let's drop these off and see how fast they process as well. Hopefully there's people around here that like cherries... Okay, so this is where the farm shop is. This is where I uh, placed it. So as far as I believe, you sell them round the back. So let's just grab a box and see where it disappears. Because I haven't actually really... I haven't tried this before. So I think we have to head round the back door. Oh, there you go. Oh, we can reuse them. So ca can we go in? Aha! So my cherries are... Okay, that's cool. I didn't see any income. Uh, let's see if we can bring up the menu. Oh, there we go. So that is going to sell at 200 litres an hour. Okay. 
Um, that looks 100% full with a thousand litres. Can we actually... Uh, <laughs> um, can we actually store cherries? Does anybody know? Can we just store them? They're not going to rot away because we're on seasons. Yeah, it's, it's not going to take anymore. Tell you what, I'm going to go put these back at the yard in one of the sheds because it'll be undercover and we will just cold store them for however long tomorrow probably I, I'm glad I don't have to buy any more boxes though although I am going to have one random tree that isn't ready oh sorry close the door after myself how rude right why you not pick up Okay, well, I suppose we'll just leave that to do its thing then, and we'll notice the income overnight. Um, I, I don't know if these cherries are going to disappear, so I don't want to leave them round the back of the farm shop, because that's not really how you do things, is it? So I've got this shed over here with the doors, and there's nothing in here just now, so we can just pop them in here. Oh, okay. You can only open one at a time. You can't open them both together. Can I actually... Oh, yeah, I can put stuff in there. That's quite handy. There you go. We can keep them in this container. Uh... This one doesn't have anything in it, so that can just stay down here. Hopefully it doesn't get damp. And another box of cherries in the container. So that worked out quite well. There you go. I thought <laughs> I thought I was stuck in the container then. Right, where are we going to park this now? Let's go... Narrowly missing our new t tanker. Uh, yeah, let's park this in here and then let's go and get some piggies. It's very good, that silo, but it's very loud. <laughs> Now, luckily, the animal dealer is just right next to the shop. So we don't have far to go to actually collect them. And then our yard is not too far from the shop. So I know some maps that you play in, the animal dealer is all the way across the other side of the map and it just puts you off going to fetch them. So it's good that we've got everything sort of, you know, it's en route back, isn't it, really? And I think we can drive through this. There we go. Right, I wish all of you animals can come with me, but you can't. So we're going to go for the Yorkshires because uh, they are the mother breed, as it says down there. It's fast growing. It requires a high amount of capital for the initial purchase, but we're going to get lots of little offsprings from this. And I think once they're about 380 to 400 pounds, then they'll be ready to sell. So I'm hoping in six months we can start making some money off the pigs. So these are female ones. The Yorkshires and the Spotted are the ones that you want for getting offspring. And these male, Berkshires and Gloucestershires, are the ones that you want to raise from very, very small. So they're just piglets when you buy them and you rear them for meat. Kind of similar to the, the way that the cows work. So let's get some of the little pink piggies. Okay, trailer's full. Do you know what? I think we'll do, uh, how many was that? Six? We will just get these six for now. Seven, is it? Sorry. Or oh, no, it's eight. We'll just get the eight for now. 
because I think they're going to be pregnant pretty soon, artificial insemination and all that. And then three months after that, they'll start giving birth. So, I thought this was the trigger here, but uh, I think it is. Yeah, there we go. So you see how they've gone down £300 each in value straight away. Okay, we have some pigs. Exciting. So the animal trailer, I think, let's just park that in. We're not doing manure, so let's just park that in the manure pit for now because I may decide to get some more over winter depending on how flush I'm feeling. Yay. Right, we need to give these some water. That's the most important. And now they need some feed. So I'm not going to need that much feed. I can't imagine. Not for eight pigs. So I'm not going to go mad and fill up the trailer full. Because this takes 20,000 litres. So, yeah. Like we are running seasons. So we're not going to need a whole load of feed. Because the feed will only last a few days. I think that's probably about right. Oh, that pro oh my goodness. Whoa. <laughs> okay, that will teach me for parking in front of there. I thought that was just going to slide up, but in actual fact, there was a huge collision on that. <laughs> oh, fun. Uh... I don't need that, do I? Poor tractor. So let's start off with... Um, we can't... like. What is worth the most? Sunflowers or canola? It's, I think it's quite close, isn't it? So let's just start off with sunflowers. Let's just see how they get on with 2,500. Okay, so they took 500 litres. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to need to have this on, aren't I? There we go. Okay, and then let's pop some corn in. Unfortunately, there's not going to be any clover ready for them this year. Oops. It's getting a bit late. Visibility is poor. Okay, they only took 400 litres of that as well. So the pigs now... Okay, we are looking good. So we need some root crop and we need some clover. So yeah, we'll see how they're doing tomorrow. Let's see if we can get the trailer through here. Do a little sneaky. We'll leave the corn in there because we'll probably need to give them some more tomorrow. But I don't want to use too much corn if I can help it. Because the CCM is worth a lot more than that is. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll sleep through the night and we'll check how the pigs are in the morning and we'll see if we have any contracts for root crops. I, I really want to try and avoid that potato one if possible. Although there is a machine I can lease. Do I have it installed on this save game? No, I don't have it in. I can perhaps put it in though. We'll think about it. So I uh, will sleep through the night and we'll see how the pigs are in the morning. Let's see how much food they've used. Okay, so my little piggies are doing just fine. They actually didn't use that much food overnight, so just a couple of hundred litres. But as you can see, um, all but one are pregnant already. So in a couple of months' time, we're going to have about 
four times as many as we have just now. <laughs> so it's not bad going. I've loaded up another pallet of cherries. We got £3,900 for the cherries. It's just a shame it can only do a thousand at a time. If I'd knew that, I probably would have mixed up my trees a little bit. But there's no reason why I can't do that from now on. I mean, I can invest in more trees. I've got... There's plenty of water going. There's also um, plenty of manure going. And it's very cheap to... Uh, these speed cameras. <laughs> and it's very cheap to buy. So yeah, we might invest in some more fruit trees and start filling up that field there with fruit trees. I'm not sure. We'll have a think for next episode. Now, I would have liked to have fertilised my fields for the winter, but I've woke up this morning and the ground has frozen, so I'm not sure. Maybe someone can tell me if I can spread fertiliser whilst the ground is frozen. I'm not I'm I am i am i am not very clued up on it. I usually skip through the winter quite a lot um on seasons. So if someone would be kind enough to let me know. I mean I'll probably try it out anyway, but uh be next week now. Let's just pop those there. Sold. Now they will just sell per hour, which is great. Now really we probably should get rid of the class now as well because we're not going to have any more field work to be done not with the class anyway because it's I only got it for the mowers and I just I just paid three and a half grand overnight to rent it for another day. I tell you what what we'll do is I will try and spread some fertilizer to see how we get on and then I suppose we'll take it from there but we'll leave it there for today I think we've we've done quite a lot today. So if you've enjoyed the episode, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. It really does help the channel quite a lot. And I'll catch you on the next one. Cheerio.